this is what I have to do to keep the donkey in, is feed him a treat. Open the gate. And this is where the girls go night night, feed them all a treat. Close the gate, secure it. Just so we can get in here. Hi babies. Are you enjoying your sunshine? That's Clover and baby with no name. Also, when we need to bring the bobcat back here, gotta put the puppies up. So we can come back here, yeah, these trees back here, these little tiny scrub oaks. I want Jeremy, if you see on the bottom, that generally has like green grass, and it's kind of a prairie or pasture, not very big. I mean like not even a quarter of an acre, but I want him to get rid of these trees and make more of a flat area for the goats so they can graze. takes forever. There's a new project that I'm starting with my bed, so I'm going to be doing some fencing. Started it today, but Jeremy had to go to Lowe's to get supplies. This is what we are going to use to make more of a pasture land. It is made by Vale. Look at that monster. be what at least a six inch tree shreds it cuts it off love that thing so this was all scrub oaks right here that he just took out and as you can see what it does he's clearing area for the goats so they could have more area to roam around and allow green grass and weeds to grow instead of being shadowed by these little bitty scrub oaks
with this. It's wet because it's rained for days, but it's beautiful. Look at that. barnyard what's going on donkey whiskey what's going on Yes. Second time it's happened? Yep. And you keep spare parts. Damn, fix it. Hold on, now I gotta get a. Do it. First, I gotta get her pliers. I gotta get that piece out. That's exactly what I did last time. And that's what's spewing all over? Hydraulic fluid. I try to open this. Okay, what part do you want me to hold? You want me to hold the piece mm -hmm. or the pliers? Pliers, and then do this. I got it. Never mind. Okay. Place this part here unfortunately we've done this before that's why we had an extra one on hand now we got to add some hydraulic fluid Excellent. See, we need to 
that vacuum this it's all down in there and this lifts up something right here pull these and it lifts up we need to clean this all well this thing is really hot whatever this muffler thing is right here it's like putting warmth in my face piece fill up here this is this is where it gets air and that's where it lets out so i gotta fill it with some hydraulic fluid how much i don't know So what is that cap you just took off? The cap for the hydraulic fluid. What is that? That's a filter. All right, let's try I don't know where the funnel is. What do you, I have a Tupperware funnel. and only took however much that is. see it in the sight glass. Not yet. Whew. Whew. Here's the here's the sight glass that we need to get it in the operating range. So we're gonna So there's the red adding. line low. Does that red line go up? a sticker it doesn't move I have to get another gallon you need that right there no nope. actually this is two and a half gallons the, ga the container is two and a half gallon We got it on the sight glass. Let's let it add a little bit more just in case. Uh, we're going to add a little bit more. Oh, I get it now. The oil fills up. I mean, when it fills up. Do you want it to the red line? We'll go a little bit more. Okay, it's to the red line. Okay, top of the operating range. Just kidding, you got a little bit more to go. I thought the line was the top of the red line, but it's not. Right there? Hold on a second, it takes a second to filter in. Okay, it's at the red line. Okay, good, stop there. All right, now we're gonna operate it and see if it stays in that 
range. Do you want me to check that little meter? Never mind, I'm not going to dump it all off because I can't do it. I hope the hose is hooked up to me. It didn't make a mess. So we're fired up. If it's in operating range, we need to put the radiator back on. That was an exciting evening. It's Wednesday, I believe it's day 10, so seven, eight, nine, yeah. 
day 10 of the quarantine and I wanted Jeremy to make a little pasture area for the goats to graze around. And he started it. We will have to do a whole bunch more and then I'll have to put the bucket on the bobcat and kind of push it all into piles. Um, from there, we'll just use it for firewood and over the years, we'll just cut it up and bring it up to the house. But we had a great adventure today with the bobcat, having huge issues, blowing the hose, uh, Jerry fixing it, trying to fill up the hydraulic fluid. So that was fun, a uh, fun little review of the veil. And it's a brush cutter and we absolutely love it. That's like the number one essential thing that we use on the ranch. So if you like my content, please subscribe and hope you stay safe. Have a great day.